Howdy folks, thanks for stopping in at Big Mook's Forge. In today's video, I'll be preparing for my next match in the Mordheim YouTube League. I finished with my third match, which I lost, and now it's time to take my medicine. Now if you missed it, use the link in the top right hand corner to go check it out. Now if you caught the match Saturday, you'll likely recognize these slides I included from the conclusion of my match with Morjax as a recap of the summary screens. Now hopefully I'll be able to get into fighting shape before my next match, which is with Game Night and his holier than thou nuns. Now don't forget, if you have any questions or suggestions, I'd be glad to hear them. Now let's get to it. Alrighty, well, you can see, took a beating there last night. Lost, uh, I think, three of my characters to Morjax's Skaven. So now I gotta come in here and clean up the mess. Let's, uh, first things first, let's go ahead and advance a day. Now hold it right there. Now while making this video, I discovered I'd made a financial mistake. When I advanced a day before paying my troops, it raised the amount I owed them. Now upon reflection, I believe I did it because in my previous matches I'd forgotten to do it at all, and I wanted to get it taken care of before I forgot again. So, with that said, mock and remember. One more day, this guy will be out. I'm going to pay them. Mission quest. All right, so no, no new hired swords. A new challenge is in sight. And there's the story mission. All right. First things first. Let's pay these fellas. All right. So I'm square with my wages. It's definitely a whole lot cheaper to lose than it is to win. Alright, back to our warband. Let's look at. Uh... Alright, so he's still got all his gear. These are pistols, right? Yeah. Okay. Got some ability points to spend here. Um, I think I'm going to put this one into leadership. Took. Uh... Took a gamble last night, and, and luckily this guy saved me with his leadership role. But if I'm going to continue to do that, I better make sure that uh, he's up to the task. Uh, I'm going to look at what the hell. Uh, he's got skill points, too. Uh, I don't really doubt I've got enough money to do anything with that. Let's, uh, oh, let's take a look. Two unspent skill points. Um, I think I'm going to let that ride for now. I just, I don't have the money. If I spend 90, that's, your cheapest is going to be 90. Let's look over here. Oh, 95 even. So, if I spend 95, that's going to leave me with, uh, just over a hundred, hundred and one. I don't think that'd be I don't think that'd be wise. At least not till I get my first shipment out. So that's uh he gained nothing from that fight. He lost no, he's got his halberd. But one of my other guys did lose his halberd, so I got a choice to make here. I can either I can either give him this great sword and use him for uh, high speed, high damage. Or I can go one-handed and raise his dodge chance. Um, let's see, a sword plus five. Five seventeen to twenty-five. Uh, I think I'm gonna go this route. Oh whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Those dueling pistols. We want to go in the secondary slot with that. The mace. This is Billy the Kid. Yeah. 
Man, I am not paying attention here. Okay. What do I get from making them look just alike, I reckon? Right, let's give him a dagger. And empty. Because he's still wounded. This guy gets building pistols and a mace. There we go. Sorry about that. He's still wounded. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go into alertness. I got to try and push their initiative up a little bit. Leadership is going to be something I'll put a few points into. The bad thing is when you lose a character, every time you improve this leadership, his morale value goes up. So when his morale value goes up and you lose that character, you lose a bigger chunk of morale on your on your meter. I kind of want these guys to be expendable, so I don't want to lose too much morale when they go down. So, all right, so he's got his longbow and his dagger. This guy got his longbow jacked. I think there's one in the store. I'll have to go look. He's got no points to spend. This guy got his halberd stolen, but luckily I've got one right there. And then, here we go again. Obvious choice, weapon skill. And the new guy, Curly Bill. And obvious choice. Weapon skill. Alright, so let's uh, go back to the shop. I think there's a long boat. Yes, there it is. It's going to set me back 10 gold. Hmm. I think I'm going to buy this pennant. An all alone test really hurt me last night. Alright. Go back to Warband. This guy's getting the pennant. Because he hurt me with his all alone. 41%. Well, that'll help. Not ideal, but it'll help. I just out of curiosity. Now, even the leader himself is at only at 56. He's at nine. Hmm. Anyway, and now my archer without a bow. Let's get him rearmed. Get a dagger. All right. Pretty quick when uh, when you lose. <laughs> and a warband. Yeah, I've got a ways to go for him and that. From a level up. Alright, now luckily, the loss against Morjax didn't prove too costly, and I was able to make a few improvements. I'm going to need them when I face the game night. Now be on the lookout for the next round of matches this Saturday. That's all I got for you folks today. I'll see y'all on the mean streets of Mordheim. You follow, Luke.